Hi boys and girls. Today's lesson is about vowels, part two. Welcome to Learning with Miss Nancy. I'm so excited that you've decided to join me today and you know that I love spending time with you. Now today we're going to continue our lesson on vowels and we'll have another lesson after this because I really want to expose you to this concept. And yes, I know, I know you're in daycare or nursery school or preschool, and some of you are even being homeschooled. And you might think, well, we're not going to get this information until kindergarten or first grade. But my goal, my job, is to expose you to these concepts early so that when you start school, you will be prepared. And the teachers will be fascinated by you. They will say, oh, my goodness. That child is super duper smart because you've had learning with Miss Nancy. <laughs> okay, so now, during our last session, we learned that A, E, I, O, U. Those letters are called what? Yes, they're called vowels, right? We talked about the letters in the alphabet. And some of the letters in the alphabet are vowels and all of the other letters that are not vowels are called consonants. Letters like B and C and D and F and G and H and J and K and you can just go on and on, right? So we know that A, E, I, O, U are vowels. So look at this list and tell me if you see something different, there's an A, you see it? E, I, O, U, but I put another letter on this list. These are the list of vowels, but there's a new letter. That's the letter Y. Now, listen to this. The letter Y is a tricky letter. It's a tricky letter out of all of the letters in the alphabet, the letter Y can be both. It can either be a vowel, which is why it's in this list, or it can be a consonant, which could be in the other list. Yes, it's the only letter in the alphabet that can be in either list. It can be in the list of vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, or it can be in the consonant list. Isn't that something? So that's good news to learn. So now we can say A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y are vowels. Learning vowels may be something new, but remember that A, E, I, O, U. And, and sometimes why our vows it's true for you <laughs> A -E -I -O -U. so we can now learn I mean add why to our list of vowels and we also know it's a consonant now when you think of the letter Y being a consonant you must listen for the sound that Y makes in a word now remember Consonants and vowels make specific sounds. Yes. And on our next video, we're going to get into the sounds that the vowels make. 
because vowels make long sounds and they make short sounds. They make long sounds and they make short sounds. And the Y, in, 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 in particular, makes long sounds and some short sounds, okay? Let's look at some of the words. I have a list of words. The first word, lazy, L-A-Z-Y. But what vowel sound do you hear in the word lazy? Lazy, lazy. Yes, you hear the E, the vowel sound of E. So you don't spell lazy, L-A-Z-E-E. -E. The Y has taken over that sound. It just moved the E out the way and says, I am now taking over. And it's spelled L-A-Z-Y. So this Y is now a vowel because it has the long E sound. Yes, which is why. I tell you over and over again, reading, you have to learn how to read and you have to learn how to pronounce and attack words based on how they sound when you, when you see them and have in their spelling and also by the way they look. Yes. So lazy, now you know ends with a what? A Y. Good. Here's another word. Story, story, story. What vowel sound do you hear in story? E, 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 e. You hear the long E sound, yes. Again, the Y said, you know what? I'm gonna move that E out the way and replace it with me, the Y. So story, S-T-O-R-Y, makes the long E sound. And it's not spelled S-T-O-R-E-E. -E. Story is spelled S-T-O-R-Y. And in this case, the Y is a vowel. Are you getting it? You have to hear the word to understand when the Y is a vowel and when it's a consonant. All right? Next word. You should know this word. It's one of your sight words. My. My. M-Y. But what vowel sound do you hear in my, I, 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 my. You hear the, yes, the long I sound. My. Wonderful. You're getting it. You hear it. So the Y did, it says, you know what? I'm going to move that I out of the way and replace it with myself, my, M-Y. And now this Y serves as a vowel because it makes the long I sound. Yes. The next word, F-L-Y, fly, 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 I-I-I-I-I-I-I. What vowel sound do you hear in fly? You hear the oi, yes. <laughs> fly. So the vowel, the Y, moved the I out the way and says we're going to now spell fly with the Y and make the long I sound. Fly. And now this vowel, this Y is a vowel and not a consonant because of the sound it makes in the word. Are you getting it? Now, here's a tricky one. Jim. Here, the Y is in the middle. And <clears throat> I don't know if you'll get this sound. We haven't really gone over short vowel sounds, but j j i m j i m Jim, Jim. This is a short I sound like I as an igloo. J I, right? I is a short I sound. It's tricky, but it moved that short I out of the way in Jim and put the Y here. So it took over that sound. Faint, can barely hear it, but it's there. 
it's a short I sound. So in order for the Y to become a vowel, it must make vowel sounds. And you have to know the words and read the words and hear the words to know when it's used as a vowel. And if it's not a vowel, it's a what? Consonant. There, you know, you're so smart. So we know A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Learning vowels may be something new, but remember that A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y are vowels. It's true for you. <laughs> so, just remember that little tidbit today. And this really concludes our learning with Miss Nancy. And as I said, our next sec uh, session, we're going to go over long and short vowel sounds. Okay? So until next time, this has been Learning with Miss Nancy. And remember to tell all your family and friends to subscribe. Yes. Thank you. And I will see you next time. A E I O U. And sometimes why? A E I O U. And sometimes why? Learning bounds is something new. Remember that A E I O U. And why? Our bounds is true for you. Woohoo! Bye bye! <laughs>